Alrighty, let's play this in full here. Cool. Always love seeing a set. Wait, that's the anima uh, animator starter pack. I do recognize <laughs> this actually. I had that in the scene too. My biggest thing is just this moment where the character feels really off balance. I buy all of this. And I understand that there would be a forward move. I don't mind that, how far forward it goes. Technically because of the jump. But I'm not super buying the like the non-adjustments. Like there could be something where maybe a barrel or something is here. And then it could hold on to it. It would be kind of cool because then it could almost pivot a bit. Sorry, my dog in the background. Uh, you know, you could have the barrel tipping over pivoting off of here and it's holding on to it and then it can always readjust with some legs in the back and then go back like this i think i think the tail is a bit it's a bit movie as in they're generally according to movie lore and according to research they're mostly like this not that much they're a bit more like this, they're not exactly like that in its rest state. I think the creature also feels just a bit default. I do like that the arm is a bit higher here, but this feels played out a bit in default. It's almost like I would start in something like that, but then I would I would rotate the root back a bit so you don't have that kink right there. So a bit flatter, so it's a bit of a softer change in there. And then, this feels so much like a human arm, the bicep and the fingers. I don't know, but that's just mid <laughs> modeling and the way I interpret things. But it just this feels a bit defaulty, like even how that is. And then you get into like a, a character pose, where even that is already to me just there's something a bit more interesting about that shape. I would just maybe not go so low with the let's go with the tail. Bring in one of the fingers a bit more, maybe even pivot slightly off. So it's like this size a bit higher. It's a bit more like that. And then this feels a bit off in terms of how this suddenly shoots up. If you look at the, the spacing of this area, bang, right there. Kind of pops up over two, three frames. And then you got that little pause in there. Just a bit in terms of like how crazy this, the spacing is. So hold on. If you track this to this, those are pretty big. And then suddenly it gets smaller. And then bam, it suddenly gets big again. I know, I know the camera travels, but. So there's just to me, there's something just hiccupy in this. I don't mind if there's texture and slight change in spacing. But all I'm seeing is a sudden jolt stop and then continuing while this is straight this feels weirdly like i would maybe bring in those toes it just feels a bit too straight like that where i would give this now the the other way to compare to what i said here at this point i would lower that bring up the root so there's a bit more of a body head up feel like that and it's kind of going up leading with the head a bit more and you can have it like that at the same time, I'm not sure if I would go this far in terms of the whip action. And then again, it just feels, A, it's all in one axis. And it just feels a bit over I mean, I don't mind right there with a, a, like a slight little whoosh, something in there. But I would tone it down a bit the way you have it in all of this. And then maybe add more in Y, a little sideways one. The off balance thing is a bit wonky. And I... I wonder if this is, again, this feels to me like a human trying it. I will keep these fairly low. They're just there. This feels, again, really human. Too high a bit. And then just for a couple of frames, it also feels a bit IK stuck right there. This could be the camera, but I feel like compared to that line of the set, that hand gets a bit stuck there. I don't mind the end. That's pretty cool. That look over and I buy the, the sniffing. I just feel like this suddenly gets into like a very even 
lift of this and at the end you end on a tangent right there i will keep it more like this but then again a bit softer it's not that just a bit softer the tail roots we're gonna bring the the root bone down a bit and maybe flatten that they, they rotate the hips so just a, cl a cleaner line from the hip into the tail base but still have a downwards arc overall and it's mostly that and maybe at the end you could have something where that i will bring it almost in a bit more a bit more like that there's something again fairly human feeling about just that pose And then here I would soften that close. This feels like a snap close. Watch this and versus a relax. You know, the jaw muscle shoots open and then kind of relax. This feels more like it wants to chomp to a close. I do like all that business here. Though. All that is great. I do like, again, I like the head move there. That's all pretty cool. I like the complexity of that turn, and then the body goes up a bit higher, and then the head continues one more time with them sniffy sniff. I think that's pretty cool. And then the camera feels a bit harsh in your rotation. If I track this line here, and bam, that's your linear key right there. I would wait and have Dino lead the camera just a bit more. I think if we're just too quick and you could easily i mean because we don't see anything here i think this could easily be around here in terms of composition so keep it low see how you're we're the camera's already going up so if you look at the set here right camera goes up 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 really anticipating what's going on i will keep it like this it's nicely framed and then once it jumps that will probably be more around here and there's a good chance that the head might even be cut off to that point. You know, like you would go jump, 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 jump. By now, I will go up a bit. So, yeah, there's a good chance it's going to be cut off for a little bit. And then by now, you reach, you know, the, the point where you are, uh, where the camera is in terms of the height. And I'm not sure I will go this far. Screen right. Although it gives us a good little left section filler and i do like that at the end and i like all those elements there i just think we just get to it too soon so maybe the compromise would be that and i would also not translate if you look at the parallax and, and the perspective shift if you look at this line and then for instance the stairs see that we see there's a change right and up and down that's a camera translate that just seems seems odd it's it's for cameras, I would stay in terms of rotations. Just do a nodal thing of rotate for your tilt and then pan all in rotation. And the translate could be like a general translate to kind of truck with it or or like a soft dolly up if you want to change it over a height. But this little wobble there just feels weird with that foreground element moving so much. For something like this that feels more handheldy, I would stay within rotations. Alrighty, that is that. I hope that helps. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.